We don't believe that there's a single silver bullet. There's no one action we can take that will reduce the risk to zero or near zero. And so we really believe in a layered defense and, and that there are multiple intervention points throughout the bioscience and biotechnology research and development life cycle. And you want to go as upstream as possible. So it begins at the funding and project conception stage. It progresses through research execution, either at an academic facility or in a company. It involves the acquisition of goods and services like DNA and getting pathogen samples from a pathogen repository. These are all things that you need to get in order to do your work if you're a scientist. And then it goes on to publication and or commercialization. So there are different groups that control these different points. And each of those points is an opportunity for risk reduction that I think is meaningful. In recent years and recent decades, as, as our community has struggled to find really effective ways to reduce risks and threats in the biospace, Anytime you come up with any solution, it, you know, people can poke holes in it. And it's very tempting to say, oh, well, it's not 100 percent solution or there are big holes in it. And therefore, that's not an answer and we should drop it. And I think that that's a mistake. Having tried to develop multiple solutions and continuing to go through that pattern, I've decided that just because something has holes or isn't it doesn't reduce the risk by 100 percent doesn't mean we should drop it. Um, and then I think in terms of this layer defense, I absolutely believe that that's the way to go. And, you know, when I was working at OpenFill as a program officer, we had a conversation that I thought was really helpful way to talk about it in simple terms, which is just you find all the biggest holes in the system and you try to plug the biggest holes first. So I'm not making an argument that we shouldn't prioritize. We actually should. And there are a priori ways to figure out what are more and less impactful things we can do. But I think we shouldn't reduce the list down to one or two actions. It should be a longer list.